All right, everybody, welcome to today's challenge, 50 appointments in 30 days. Can you do it? Can you follow along and follow the process? I hope you can. I recently put a video talking about this system and it did really, really well. I got a lot of messages, a lot of people reaching out, and I wanted to make even more in-depth training to show you guys how to do this. So who this video is for is one, you're a real estate professional that wants to learn how to generate automated booked appointments for your business, or two, you are probably a marketing agency or marketer that wants to get their clients great results. And that's been my strength over the past six years is I focused relentlessly on results. And in full transparency, while I may not have built this huge agency, I really, really have clients that know who I am. They, they value what I do and they are, they're constantly looking to me as the expert when it comes to some of the systems and strategies that I'm going to be showing you. So this is coming from someone that's actually doing it. I know what I'm talking about and I think as you go through this training and you see the resources and the systems that I've built, um, you'll be able to see that for yourself. So um, just to kind of show you here, here is a live account. I'm happy to refresh it for you so you can see that this is legit. Um, and this is just one account. I don't want to go through all of the other accounts, but you can see with this client alone, this is 45 booked appointments. If you're familiar, this is go high level. I've built an entire system and multiple systems on top of this software. And uh, I'll be telling you how you could potentially partner with me as well. And I can give you some stuff that will literally transform your business as a real estate professional or if you're a marketer, get your clients actually good results because if you don't get good results, it doesn't matter what systems you have, um, you, no one's gonna stay around. So here's, uh, like I said, 45 booked appointments. And if we go to, you know, this client's been with us for over, you know, a year and a half, you can see this year alone has been 171 fully automated appointments and just for more proof, if I go back even more, you can see we've booked a ton of appointments here with this client. So I want to show you how you can do it as a real estate professional for your business, as well as show you how you can do this to get your clients amazing results. So let's get back into the slides here. So on this training, I'm going to be showing you how to generate 50 plus leads. This should be appointments in 30 days. I took the old... Uh, presentation I did and I was like who cares about leads we want to get good qualified appointments right I'll show you how to retarget I'll show you the messaging scripts that we've been using to get booked appointments on autopilot um, this is a huge thing and I'll speak to this when we get to that part of the system and I'm also going to show you how to automate your follow-up with SMS and email automation and you know take you through that and basically like I said if you're a real estate professional and you're familiar with high level and how it works and you want to partner with me to help you grow your brokerage we've recently partnered up with a few brokerages where you know they have agents that are you know hiring other companies for marketing or whatever it is and people are leaving that brokerage and so a broker reached out to me and said hey you know I've seen all the systems you've built I've seen all the stuff you've given away I really want to help my agents grow and get them, you know, increase their production. And with the way that High Level works, we are able to partner and I can give him the systems and show him how to basically organize and facilitate this type of a system for his agents. So if you want to install these templates like pretty much instantaneously, excuse me, instantaneously, um, you know, you can do that with high level, right? So I'm going to show you, I am going to show you though, how to do it. So if you, you know, don't want to partner, you just want to learn how to do it. There's no catch here. I'm literally, I've had people say that, you know, the content I'm providing here on YouTube is better than, you know, a $7,000 Grant Cardone mastermind. And people are saying that, um, you know, They've never seen anyone give away the amount of value that I'm giving out. I'm actually giving away, showing you guys the ad, showing you guys how to target, showing you guys how to set the campaigns. Like I'm not hiding anything or just, you know, sitting down in front of a camera telling you how to do it. I'm literally going to show you on this video. So 
If you don't believe me, you can fast forward, see, you know, in us in the ads manager and all that stuff. So like I said in the last training, if you watched it, if you literally follow along, I'm telling you, you can go to mastermind after mastermind and hire people. This is literally, I mean, I think I've done it my own unique way, but I'm telling you everything you need is in this video to get automated booked appointments, whether it's for your business or it's for a client's business. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not going to leave anything out. I literally have all the SOPs here that are going to show you how to do this stuff. So um, if you just follow along, you turn off the phone, just set a, you know aside an hour to go through this, you're going to see, wow, like they literally showed me exactly how to do it, okay? Um, so there's a lot of noise in today's marketplace about what you should or shouldn't do. So like I said, your commitment today needs to be to simplicity and not complexity. Truly, anyone can do this if you follow along. I honestly believe that. And it's not a lecture or a knowledge session, like I said, where I'm just going to sit here and say, oh, you should, you know, run an ad, take them to a funnel, take them to a calendar page, and then, you know, uh, you'll get appointments. I'm going to show you click by click. Okay, so it's a full-blown implementation class where you can walk away with the system that we literally charge our clients five plus figures for okay so before we get started who am i and why should you listen so my name is quinn over the past five years i basically dropped out of college and i started two six-figure marketing agencies one is called giving marketing soul and that i started with my cousin and the other company is called new breed agent and um you know, basically, um, we don't even have a website for uh, giving marketing soul. So if you go look us up, I mean, you'll probably find some stuff online. But um, we've actually done this, right? We've done this stuff without websites or a bunch of ads or anything like that. And the way we've been able to do that is because we get our clients insane results. Like I'm telling you, if you're a marketer, like, I hope hopefully through watching my content, you'll see that this is really what matters. You don't need the sales tactics and all these other things. Like if you need these intense sales tactics and stuff, you're probably not delivering that great of a service, right? And if you call up clients that, you know, we had a client sign up like four or five days ago and, you know, I probably talked to him. I met him in person, talked to him probably five, 10 times on the phone because we're actually ensuring he's getting what he wants and he's so happy, right? And you call him up, say, hey, what do you think of this guy Quinn in the first week? And he's going to be happy, right? And and I say this not to say I'm so cool or I'm so good, but if I feel like the marketing space is just full of so many different ways to, you know, like copy paste stuff and make things so easy that you start selling what you know how to do and what's easy versus what the client wants. And if you focus on what the client wants and you focus on getting them amazing results and maybe you have to put more team members in place or you have to do some different things and it's not as easy, um, you're going to have great results and that work and that that ability to keep clients on is, is it's going to be no question, okay? So like I said, started my first business with my cousin and over the past five years, we've edited thousands of videos. We've traveled the world. Uh, I can pull up my Instagram here and just kind of show you. Um, but yeah, there's my, or he's in the, uh, there's me and my cousin. Um, and you can see, go read our post. Here's me and, and my cousin in Paris. These are all the clients that we're actually with in person, right? clients, uh, more clients, clients, right? And so I just say this because like I said, a lot of people just want to get a client online, make make passive income and just never do anything. And, and I get it, right? But when you're starting out, you got to really learn how to do this stuff well, okay? So I don't know if I need to go over this, but yeah, we I personally manage over half a million dollars in ad spend, so I know what I'm doing. And we currently manage anywhere from uh, 15 to 20K per month. And more importantly, if you're in real estate in the last two years, we have had over 150 properties that 
came through our system and were later sold, right? Um, some of these were sold by our clients and some of these were sold by other agents or investors. Um, but now that we've refined our system, right, we now are converting a lot more of these. But the point was I generated a ton of these seller leads, right? And I was told that, you know, basically that none of them converted. And I went through, audited all of these leads, had a VA audit all these leads, and, and these were all the ones that sold. So this showed me that my system did in fact work and that I needed to focus on the next phase, which was following up, getting these leads engaged and getting them actually connected with my client. And if I could do that, if I could get them, you know, a seller lead or a buyer lead that was qualified, that was actually serious and that showed up to the appointment, I mean, now you've got an amazing product, right? And so that's what we do day in and day out is we don't just run ads and build funnels and do all that. We actually get our clients appointments with motivated sellers. That's what we do now as our service. But like I said, I'm going to be giving away, you know, these systems if you partner up with me that I've already used that have been proven to work. So I don't know if I... Uh, need to even go over all this stuff here but yeah my mom's a real estate agent and she's been in the business for 17 years my grandpa owns properties all across the U.S. and I honestly just love real estate and I could say that you know real estate kind of just found me and it's in my blood um, so I know what it's like to have unpredictability in your real estate business and where my work is rooted is from is is basically to empower real estate agents to grow their business with automation and if you even go to you know my website you'll see that you know it it's all about bringing a fresh perspective and inviting a new paradigm to the real estate industry right so I'm actually providing the environment, the resources, support, guidance, and tools that empower agents to engineer their business the way that it should be. And the way I believe it should be is it should be not easy, but easier. It's, we should leverage automation. We should leverage technology. And we should ultimately leverage the tools that are available to us so that we don't struggle. Why, why do we need to choose to struggle, right? So that's been my whole thing. And, you know, you'll see as I go through this, the rest of this video that, you know, it really can be a lot easier. I mean, we had that client sign up five days ago. And I mean, like I said, if I pulled up these uh, text messages, um, you know, you would see that they, they literally closed the deal in four hours. And then another client uh, got two leads and actually spoke to the first two. And guess what? I actually jump in there. I call the leads myself. I text the leads. I create the conversation. I get them to actually be a legit person that wants to talk. And, you know, my client's like, dude, I, I hired VAs. I hired all kinds of people. And within two leads, I'm having one legit conversation, like not a like I said, a name, number, email, or anything like that, like literally like on the phone with a seller within four days, right? That is actually fits the criteria. So like I said, it, it can really be a lot easier. Here's some of our clients, Ryan Lineker. There's me actually with them. Troy Reed, there's me with them. Uh, Ryan Mitchell, Leo Robles, Gabriel Bolaños, Justin Itzen, George Vega, Leo, uh, Lori, Camille, all these properties I showed you sold. We've got, you know, tons and tons of booked appointments and you can just see me kind of here in the industry. Um, we actually go out to Ensenada, Mexico. I haven't been in a quite, uh, quite a bit of time in transparency, but, um, you know, my calling is actually to help animals. And so I, I won't get into that whole thing. Um, but that's what I use my business. My business is a vehicle to really, I believe that our businesses should be utilized to make a change and an impact in the world. And, uh, you know, this is one of uh, my clients, uh, you know, visions with his business is to uplift women and children. So these are some of the builds that we've gone on to help literally build these homes um, from scratch. And you can go check out, uh, you know, prosperity homes. And if you feel called to donate, that would be super awesome as well. But we did all the photography and videography for this. And you can even see me there. There's my client and there's a few other 
uh, you know, people I obviously know. So this was a while ago, but I, I show you all this because hopefully you can tell that something on the channel is different and I really just want to get this stuff out there so you guys can have success, okay? And this is going to be a predictable system to generate one, two, three, or five plus new clients every single month on demand with predictability. Now, you do have to pay for ads to do this because that's what's going to automate the lead flow. And you do have to set up the systems I'm going to show you. Um, but it really, really works. Okay. Lastly here, free cheat sheet. So if you want like this sheet here, it's actually a, a different sheet. But if you want it, just uh, comment down below. And I'll get you the, the sheet for this. It's totally free. And it just walks you through basically the process I'm going through. Okay? So let's let's get on with it. Let's get on with the, the, the real thing here. Okay? So what are we actually going to be doing? Okay? So let me close this. The first, what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through the system. Okay? So what we do here, right, is we run a paid ad. And then that paid ad takes these leads to a survey page, which I'll walk you through. Once they fill out the survey page, they're taken to a calendar page, and then they can book an actual appointment, right? Once they book the appointment, they're just taken to a very simple success page where it just basically says that, you know, you're booked, okay? So the goal here, right, is to set up an automated paid ads system, right? And when we set up that paid ads system, what's going to happen is if we do it properly, right, we have a great offer for our niche, that niche starts clicking, that niche starts inquiring, which would be filling out this survey. Then once they fill out that survey and they're qualified, they start booking appointments. Then from there, they start going to just the success page. That's the goal, right? We set up a campaign, we start putting in, let's just say $50 a day, and we're getting leads, we're getting appointments, and we're closing deals, right? That's basically what, that's the, that's the lens that you're looking at this through. Now, if you are an agent or an investor, right, this would be for your business so that you can learn, be aware, right, if you're going to hire a marketing agency, you know, this is hopefully as well, um, you know, I've had people that watch this content and they learn what to ask on these calls, right? They learn what to look for, right? It's kind of like going to get your car fixed and you don't know anything about cars and you don't know if they're going to rip you off, right? So most people will probably charge you, you know, 2000 bucks a month or anywhere from, I mean, I guess it, it could be lower, but usually with something like this, it's probably anywhere from 1500 to 2000 or more per month, right? Depending on other things they include, then it would maybe be more or less, right? But in general, for someone to run a system like this, that's probably how much it's going to cost. So you're going to see, like I said, I'm going to walk you through the entire process and show you how to really tailor, you know, your perfect lead and engineer your perfect lead with actual like proof and evidence. So this is what we're doing. We're running an ad and we're taking them through a three step funnel, right? And what we're going to be doing as well is leveraging automation to disqualify and qualify leads. So we have a little bit of automation here that I'll show you how it works when we get there. But basically what can happen is when the lead comes into the system and they fill out the survey, what's going to happen is basically whatever we want to happen. But in this case, what would actually happen is we would like disqualify the lead or we would uh, organize them into a different pipeline. Um, you know, you could do whatever, really, you could come up with any combination. So maybe let's just say that a lead has a bad credit score. Maybe that, um, you know, that lead goes into a disqualified pipeline or it goes to your credit repair specialist. There's all kinds of ways that you can do this, right? So let me uh, pull this back up here. All right, sorry about that. It looked like uh, the software was delayed here. But um, basically what the automation will do is, like I said, it can filter that lead out by certain qualifying criteria and you can tailor this, right? So I know a lot of services have ISAs and things like that. Um, and ISAs, I think, are great and still essential. But ultimately, let's just say you're paying an ISA or a virtual assistant, you know, 
four to five dollars per hour and you're basically paying them you know nine hundred to fifteen hundred dollars per month i'm not sure why the software is uh you know slowing slowing down here right on right on this part of the video but i'll move on to the ads manager part anyway but let's just say you're uh you know hiring an isa and it's you know 800 to 1500 per month right number one right there there's a quote or there's something from this book called four hour work week that i remember and let's see how well i can recite it but uh, it basically says doing something unimportant well doesn't make it important right so getting a bunch of bad leads low intent leads and having somebody follow up really well doesn't make make it important or really valuable right so my philosophy has always been quality is always more economical in the long run and the reason i say that is because with our clients depending on their ad budget i mean they may only get you know 10 10 to 20 leads per month right and really you only need one person right to be able to respond to those leads and we've seen our clients be able to actually convert these deals because one they cost more because of the qualifying process that the automation does right which is virtually free it does raise your ad cost right but the the cost is is minuscule right because really let's say you do a facebook lead form ad which if you're somewhat in the marketing world you're probably familiar with and your lead cost is like one dollar or two dollars right and you're getting let's just say real simple you have a thousand dollar budget right and two dollar leads so you're going to get 200 leads right you pay two dollars a lead you have a thousand dollars to spend you're going to get 200 leads right or excuse me 500 leads so if you have a thousand dollars divided by two you're going to get the that 500 leads right so that's a lot of people to go through right a lot i mean 500 people imagine a room of 500 people that like don't even know why they're in the room and you're like going up to them and trying to like there's no context they don't even know what's going on right that's a lot of people to thumb through right so my philosophy is imagine you take that thousand dollars right and let's just say your lead cost is now twenty dollars right so now instead of you getting you know uh 500 leads right you're getting 50 leads right i think a thousand divided by 20 50 leads okay so imagine you get 50 leads right and then out of those 50 the automation disqualifies right let's just say it disqualifies uh, another 10 to 20. now you're only dealing with 30 max right it's one a day right they're responding at a higher rate they're more interested they're more serious they know what they're they're talking they know what you're talking about they remembered the ad they clicked on and you and it, and if you did have a va um think about it it's like they don't even have to be that skilled to get them on a conversation i mean literally it it's as simple as if you know with our clients as just saying hey you know are you free for a quick call to discuss selling the property and just yes i'm free i mean i could pull up one from literally this morning that i sent a message to and he was like yeah look i'll, I'll show you right here so um yeah so i don't know if you could see that oh, i have the camera but basically yeah basically i said you free right here i said you free for a quick call or do you prefer text right now I can talk, right? Response, I can talk. I say, okay, I'll call you in a few. Okay, guess what? I I ping my client. He gets notified. Hey, motivated seller, ready for a conversation, and they call. Literally took two seconds, right? If you have a cold lead, high, low intent, I mean, I'm telling you guys, and that's where most people go wrong is they hire agencies that do it that way. Then they hire VAs that just answer, ask them questions. There's no real buy-in. They try to transfer them to you and the service isn't that good. Um, or two, you do it yourself and then you're not getting really good leads and then you know, you're, you know, you're not converting any, right? So you lose money and then you think ads don't work, right? So that's my philosophy is let's go for the high quality, high intent. Don't worry about, you know, uh, just, just follow the process, okay? So let's get started here. So we're gonna create a campaign 
and we're going to drive them into the actual uh, you know three step funnel here so I like to keep things clean so I don't need all this the only one I need is is this for now okay so what we're going to do is we're going to choose leads so they've changed this now so we're going to choose leads so in other words if you're more experienced this is a conversion campaign okay so what I like to do is I name it the type of traffic so cold traffic I put a colon then I type in the campaign name so conversions um, so there you go so now cold traffic and then conversions now categories we're going to choose uh, housing okay and then we're just going to go to next we want to make sure these are all off we don't need to get into any of this uh, stuff here okay the way I see it is the ads should be pretty open-ended, right? And then the actual um, the actual system should do the qualifying, right? We don't want to start over qualifying in the ad. We want the ads to be more open-ended, get the right people into the funnel, and then let the survey and the automation do it because it's it's a lower cost, right? Imagine you ran an ad and you just like basically said only click on this right if you're ready to buy a home in one day right and no one clicks on it and you're just spending hundreds of dollars and then before you know it you get a thousand dollar click right and then it's like they click on accident right so we, we don't want to go too far on that end and that's an exaggeration but if we go too far on the ad then we 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 don't get enough volume and we don't want volume just for the sake of volume we want volume so that we get people into the system and then it starts to learn accurately who these ads need to be shown to so then what i do here is we take our uh, ad set naming convention so these are just naming conventions you go watch another channel they, they do it different this is just how i do it it gives me you know it's clean it's the same way so audience we change this later when we actually do the audience city and state I could do now so let's just say I'm gonna do Austin Texas and I'm gonna do a 15 mile radius which I'll show you how to do but let's just say I'm doing it that way now keep in mind just by typing it here that this isn't how you set up the ad this is just me naming it okay and then um, you just put the add here so I'm just going to do add number one and then this will be automatic placements okay and I'll, I'll touch on these as I go through but first thing is we're going to do website do not do instant forms okay and then you're going to choose your pixel then you're going to choose your event and this event needs to be uh, basically verified for what you call aggregated event measurement and uh, I probably will make another video on that but for now just choose lead and um, if that does pop up and you need you know help just comment and I'll see how quick I can make a video on that but just click lead turn off dynamic creative leave conversions here now you're going to choose your budget so you can start depending on where you are in the country right if you want to comment where you are and get kind of a custom ad quote or range from me just comment where you are and how many and I can give you an estimate of how many leads or whatever you'll probably get but I would recommend this system at least 20 bucks a day you could get away with less but when you see how well this thing works um, you're gonna want to dump more into it so I would say 50 right it doesn't have to be 50 though especially if you're in the Midwest or something like that you don't need 50 you I would just say $20 minimum um, if you absolutely cannot do that and you want to try a little bit less you could um, but my personal recommendation would be 20 and above okay so I'm gonna pick 50 and I'm not gonna run this actually but 50 bucks okay then for the start date you could just leave this for you know live which whenever you're ready to just publish it it'll go live once it's approved and then for locations we're gonna choose our location so I'm gonna choose people living in this location and now this is where I'm getting that naming convention from for Austin Texas because I'm gonna just do a 15 mile radius around that okay and the other thing I now need to do is I can't change the age I can't change the gender that's how it is on Facebook for, because of the housing category thing so now we want to do the detailed targeting so here's where you can type in 
uh, Zillow, you know, you probably know this if you're not brand new, you could type in Trulia, you can type in mortgage loans, calculator, property finder, um, you know, house, home, apartment, you can kind of stack these. So there's really, I think, three options, okay? You can stack them, which is what I showed you how to do. You can pick one or you can pick zero, okay? And that's really the simplest way to, um, you know, think about it. So if you stacked it, you know, let's just say I did Zillow and then let's just say I did Redfin, which I'm not telling you to necessarily do because that's, you're going to need live data. So let's just say I do uh, how or Zillow and then let's just say I do uh, mortgage calculator, okay, and Trulia. So this would be a stack. So the way we would name this would be stack, audience stack, or uh, I actually call it audience batch, okay? So that's one way to do it, right? And you would just match this based on this. Now, if you duplicated this, which is basically just duplicating the same exact ads and ad set, the, what my recommendation is you only make one change, okay? So if you're going to change the audience on this and you duplicated this, right, then what you would have is you would choose either one or zero. So then you would have your stack as one here, and then you would have your uh, Zillow as the other, and then open or, or no targeting as the third, right? But just to keep it simple, I just start with one. So in this example, we'll just do the batch. Zillow, Trulia, and let's just do mortgage calculator and uh, loan, okay? So I'm not saying to do, go out and do this. This is just you know what I'm just kind of doing as an example. So this would be a batch. This is audience, uh, Austin, Texas. All this is done here from a naming level. Now you keep going down. You're going to leave this as the Advantage Plus placement. So this will mean basically automatic. So uh, Facebook will show the ads to whoever it think it, it's going to show the ads on the placement that it thinks people are going to you know click on, right? Whereas if you did manual, you could control this and say, hey, I only want this ad to go on you know, Facebook stories, right? And you would unclick all these other ones and then it would just be Facebook stories, right? So automatic is just like, hey, show it wherever you think I'm gonna get the lead, okay? Which is what I would leave it as right now. And this is always changing as well. So, you know, keep keep that in mind. So click next now what we're going to do is just call this ad name image number one so this is how i like to do it so i just do image one two three four right and it just keeps it simple okay um and so then yeah just choose your page choose your instagram account and then i'll show you the set settings i use here so create ad manual upload single image or video and then here's where we choose our ad okay so let me go to our template here. I think it's on another uh, document list. Let's see if it's here or no. All right, so here it is. And like I said, this is that document that you can uh, comment down below and I'll send it over to you. So here we go. So here's our template. And now we're just gonna paste this here. And then we're going to paste this here. And this is an iterative process, right? So you're going to want to keep adjusting things and, you know, you got you to gotta learn how to make the adjustments on the fly, right? So this would be the actual ad. So new Austin homes on the market. Check out these. And then you just say like beautiful homes that just hit the market in Austin. And then click learn more below to get a custom list of homes instantly and then get an exclusive list of Austin homes. All right. And then now what we got to do is we got to add in this uh, media. So I'm going to just go to Redfin and do, uh, yeah, pull up Redfin. Since Zillow doesn't let you take photos from the, the site, so we have to use Redfin. So now I'm going to type in Austin. 
and I'm looking for an awesome, you know, photo of a house that will be good for ads. So let's adjust this to sold so we can see properties that have already sold, which means people wanted them because they bought them. And then let's just go for like a, you know, medium price range here. Just a good range. And let's also do house. Okay. And now it's sorting all this. I don't know what that is. Okay, here we go. So, okay. So, yeah, I like this one. This is good. This pops. Oh, it took this off. Local rules require you to be signed in. So, see, these are the things that always change. I, I don't know when this uh, changed here because I like this one too. Let's see. All right, let me try uh, Trulia. And then we're going to type in the same thing. So Austin, Texas. Now let's see the uh, sold here. Mm. This is a good one. I feel like I've actually used this before. Let's see. Oh, the photo is... Maybe it's because these are off the market here. Let's see. So let's do um, house. Yeah, let me see if I take it. Uh, yeah, we'll just do buy. So let's see this. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Let's see if it lets me save this. Okay, so if you ever try to save a photo and you see it say like web P, which means like it saved the web page, you're going to have to screenshot it. Okay, so you just on your Mac, it's uh, command shift four. There you go. Okay, so you got to, you know, local local rules apply or whatever that uh, statement is. So, you know, make sure that that's, you know, do whatever you have to do. Um, for the actual, uh, you know, your local market, if you're super worried about copyright, just go to Pex, uh, Pexels and type in house and you can choose one of these. However, it will probably affect performance because, um, you know, it's not as relevant. You could also type in Austin, Texas homes or houses, go to images, go to more, go to or tools usage and then creative common licenses and you can use any of these so you can see there's there's basically none here um, you could probably just choose another uh, keyword here make sure that this filters on and then um, you know you could probably you may have to dig a little bit here if you have your own listing use that um, or ask a friend basically so now we've got the ad and we've got the copy okay so basically, we're going to paste our website, which is to our funnel. And let's make sure the preview shows up here. And there you go. It's coming in. And let's see. Oh, let's upload this uh, ad. Oh, and I have images here too. But let's just use this. And then... There we go, next, boom. So make sure it's formatted nicely, and there you go. So there's your ad, and then this would go to your actual website, okay? So, um, you know, this would be your own domain, and now we've got our, our funnel, right? And I'll show you how we change this within our high-level system, so give me a second. All right, so, in our system on on this high level snapshot we have these custom values built in so they base basically what these uh do is it's basically like a a code it's a piece of code that you can install to an email to a text to even the funnels and then when you change this uh, value it updates universally wherever this key is uh, located so you'll see here if i refresh this going to still say Tennessee right now if I change this here and I type in uh, Austin 
this is going to update in all of our texts, all of our emails, all the places that we have uh, this, you know, this a part of the system. And when we do the custom homes list, that's how we do it for clients as well as we just paste that link here. That way, you know, it's basically just it's done, right? It's just it goes everywhere in the system. So if I refresh without changing the funnel, look at that. Boom. So it's really, really awesome because um, you can even see paste client company name here. So if I type in, um, you know, new breed agent LLC, then it's going to update the funnel as well. Boom. And that goes across all the bottom sections. And like I said here, so I don't have to worry about that again. And then when we get that link from like, let's just say Redfin, which in our examples, we use our client's website. So we would get that list and pull it from the actual website, but just assuming so I don't have to think about getting a website. Look, I paste that. And then when uh, the text goes out, it'll automatically send this link in all the text and emails. So really, really powerful stuff. So that's how you do that. So now you got the ad. Now you got the actual uh, you know, system pretty much ready other than the domain. And I am kind of showing you guys this like I'm bouncing around here. Um, I'm more freestyling it. I do have this stuff all, um, you know, like. Uh, systemize where it's just all in order and I, I don't do these anymore so um, I'm kind of just making it engaging not like okay do this do this do this right uh, but this is basically it right and then the only thing is like I said you point your domain which is a real simple process you just you know go to your domain uh, GoDaddy and just click add and you point it and um, basically it's there so I think like I have uh, this live so see that one's already good so that one's pointed there um, now I can apply that to this funnel and then it would be basically live right so that's all you have to do with your domain so if I go here this is now live boom Okay, so this would be what needs to be in the ad. So we're basically done. The only thing that we're missing here is the pixel installed, right? So we need the pixel installed on, on this page to show that, you know, to tell Facebook we're getting a lead. And then we also need it installed on the success page to show people that, um, or to, to show Facebook that we got a booked call. So I'll show you how to do that. So... If you did this in the order that we do it internally, you would have the entire funnel, uh, pixel, all this stuff would be set up beforehand, and then the ads are basically the last step, okay? But like I said, I'm showing you on YouTube here, that way it's just like, okay, cool, it's engaging, I, I actually like am getting to the meat of it, right? It, or else like, I would be showing you like setting up the accounts and like doing all that stuff, which is cool, but... Um, if you want to see the ads and kind of the meat of it, then this is what I'm showing you, okay? So um, basically, what we have to do is put this pixel in. So I'll show you how to do it. And like I said, this would have been done before. So then we would actually just launch the ad at this point. But I'm going to go here, go to the Events Manager. And what you're going to do here is just go to uh, this. Uh, I think this happened last time. Cool. So I'm going to just choose... Uh, add events and then basically uh from let me see yeah there we go from a new website install the code manually and so what you do here is you go to the schedule page or the survey page okay click on edit this is basically how to run your first conversion campaign if you've never done it put in tracking code i think i already have it so you would just paste it there boom save and save the entire page make sure it saves go to the second page schedule page and then this is the second page this probably code is already here so you would paste it again and then you can just go here you put this below here and do lead boom so now you save that, save the actual page, then you go here, and you 
go to tracking code now you put schedule okay so you just boom and like I said you just put schedule right here boom so what this what this is doing is we're just putting a little code into the tracking code of the funnel and so now I have this little thing called the pixel helper so what's gonna happen is if I click on this page each one of these page should show a fired event okay a fired event meaning oh the the pixel and the code is installed on this page this will turn blue and green boom we have a page view right then we have the schedule page so this should say page view and then it should also say lead And the reason it says that is because the only way they would get to this schedule page is if someone filled out this entire survey making them a lead there's the lead now the last uh, part is the success page which they would only get to if they filled out the survey right or excuse me they fill out the survey and they booked the call now you can see the schedule here okay so we have the page view and schedule looks like I have the code twice but it doesn't really matter so I mean it matters if you're don't put two clients pixel on the same thing but in this demo it doesn't doesn't matter right so that's how that works okay and so now because we ran the conversion based ad right where we actually um, let me go into here yeah because we did the conversion based ad right we basically you know are telling Facebook that hey we want to um, it's not letting me get into this thing here they're moving all this stuff guys hold on all right so because we put this conversion based ad and we told Facebook this is the conversion event we want which we install right here the way that this works is that only people that land here are what Facebook tries to find more of right and so that's really the value of the conversion based ad is let's say you have a hundred question survey and the only way that that event fires is if they filled out a hundred questions right this is an over exaggeration but that's why it gets a higher quality lead because I mean unless someone just wants to fill out a hundred form survey um, they probably have pretty high intent and so Facebook is starting to look at different things on their end about oh what what makes these if a hundred people fill out a hundred question survey what similarities do they have what products are they interested in what behaviors do they have right and so then they can start to find more of those people right and that's why conversion based ads will probably always outperform instant forms unless they uh, make some adjust adjustments to instant form just because like I said you can custom tailor this process right so now we take the you know the ad would be launched right the domains live the funnels live so now we're asking these leads how many bedrooms are you looking for how many bathrooms are you looking for what price point are you looking for homes when are you looking to buy would this be your first time purchasing a home right have you been pre-approved what is your estimated credit score what's your yearly income uh, do you currently rent or own right if they own do you need to sell your property to buy yes now we get their address right so if I put in the address then now you would collect that how much have you saved for a down payment um, feel free to tell us about your current situation so this is kinda like a application right and then lastly name email phone number if we click submit now I'm taken to the booking page okay and so this uh, lead will come into the system right um, and basically I don't know if this one's all set up here but it should be um, and so yeah there's there's the uh, there it is right here or this one came in so it'll probably take a second to send out the actual uh, next one but you could see the activity right here um, and so that's phase one right now they're filling out the survey which is way better because now if you go inside of our system to sites and then surveys we can look at the submissions and we can see all this data so this is really really cool 
right? Um, and the other thing, which is the better thing, is let's say they book the appointment, they would go to the confirmation page, right? Boom. Now they book. But here's the real good part is we have this uh, automation where let's just say if their income, we can customize this. And High Level just released a new feature, so I'm going to show you guys live how to do this. So what you do is you create a workflow. You click Start from Scratch, and then you click on Create. Now the action, which all this is already done for you guys if you partner with me, but you, know, you still would want to customize it. But you would just do Survey Submitted, choose the survey is buyer survey form right that way you're choosing the right one in case you have multiple surveys or whatever but you click save trigger now you click save and then from there you click on plus and then what you're going what you're going to do is to type if and now they've made it where you can create like all kinds of branches so if you're not new if you're new to automation just watch if you're familiar with it then um, it's really powerful and you'll see what I'm saying. So for example, if we choose basically what an if statement is, is if the lead uh, matches this criteria, then X, right? And if not, then Y, right? And so when it comes to qualifying leads, there's probably three main kind of ways to qualify, right? It's probably going to be, you know, their credit score, their income, and really like their down payment, right? If it was a buyer. And then lastly, which is kind of less tangible, but like how serious are they interested? Like what time frame? Okay. So let's go through that logic. So what we do inside the system is we choose contact details. Then we choose on the actual fields, which are in the survey. Okay. So we're going to choose the first one, which is how much have you saved for a down payment? So let's just say is, right? And then we say... Um, so the way that I have this survey set up, which I'll probably change, is it's a free text, right? That way we're getting an actual uh, data point that's that's accurate because they're typing it in. But it's limited because, you know, we can't sort this as well as we could with the other uh, options. Because if we go here and we type credit, we can choose from one of the options like that, right? Which is cool. So let's just skip over the uh, down payment just because, um, you know, like I said, let's say somebody types in 100K, there's no way to like choose a range, right, between if someone puts 50K or 100K or 40K because the, the survey question is not multiple choice, but we could easily change that, okay? So let's just stick with what already is, that way the videos stay simple. So what is your estimated credit score? And let's just say it's uh, 670 and you do an or and then we're going to do it again. So we're going to do credit is 670 is 740 or is 800. Okay, now that's one branch. Okay, so this branch would basically be credit is 670 plus. Okay, that's the simplest way to do it. Boom. Okay, now we click save action. Boom. Um, like I, how did they, I saw this here. Okay, let's do another branch. Okay, so let me, let me just make sure that this is how I saw someone do it here. Or I saw a photo actually. So um, we got credit. Now let's do income. So let's do the same thing is um, 70 or 90. Okay, now we're getting people with good credit and good income. Contact details, income is 90 plus. Boom. Look at that, guys. So we have credit is seven, uh, 670. Now we have the second branch, right, which is... Uh, Income is 70 plus, 70K plus, okay? So you could do it a few ways. You could do it individually, right? So you could do it like this, or you could stack 
um, the condition inside of one branch. So for example, you could say credit is 670, then you add a segment, not a branch. Okay, so uh, so really probably the way you'd want to do it is you would stack all of the qualifying criteria into one main one main branch and then inside of that you go you create the flow so you would do credit is 670 income is 70k plus and then uh time frame is less than three months so you would do boom you would do uh let's see add a condition so now you would do an uh and basically you would do an and and an or okay so it's a little getting a little advanced here but just stay with me so we're gonna do um income and then we're gonna do is and then we're gonna do 70 and then or okay oh so it makes all these ors okay so let's let's leave it like this then. Sorry guys, I from my understanding there was a different way to do this. So we're gonna just do credit is 670. Okay. And then you're gonna click save. And then you're gonna do another if. Okay, so it's a branch within a branch. So now you're gonna do credit is 670. Okay, and then you're gonna do uh the income here. And so really what you would do is you'd have one main branch, so you'd have all the credit scores, right? And then you would have the, the uh, quali you could basically think of all the combinations here within reason, you don't wanna complicate it too much and then organize it accordingly. So I'll show you what I mean. You're just gonna kinda have to watch because if not, it's gonna get too, too complicated. So trying to explain it. So income is, 90 okay so now we got income is 90 or excuse me 70k plus boom so now we have you can see here so we have just uh filter so you could have credit is 670 and then income is 70k plus right and then for example those person uh let's just say you only want to get notified if their credit is 670 and their income is 70k plus. That's the simplest way, right? If you're if you're just you got one person, right, and you just you want to talk to the good leads, then you would just stack these. So if you needed to do credit is 670 and their income is 70k plus, then you would do um, another if. And then you would run it through the last filter, which in this case, we'll just do uh, uh, when are you looking to buy? And then now it's like as soon as possible or when one to three months. Okay, so now ASAP or one, two, three months, okay? So that would be kind of engineering the perfect lead. Obviously, they have to be engaged, but let's just say you started running, you know, um, hundreds of leads through here, right? Basically, the way this filter set up is really simple. It's just if they're 670, income is 70K, 70K plus, and they're ready to buy ASAP or one to three months, then you can set all the conditions. So maybe you would do, okay, now this gets added to the pipeline, right? They're a lead, right? And then you save it, right? And then if they don't match that, right? Then you would just say, and really the way you would wanna do it is probably through, you could do it a lot of ways, right? You could create different branches for each criteria and then create different opportunities or, or stages accordingly. Um, so for example, you could say, okay, credit is 670, income is 70K plus, and uh, they wanna move ASAP or within one to three months. But you have to remember the condition is only running based on each branch. So if this filter is um, this, the credit score, 
basically anyone that goes here, right, this could also be labeled as well. Because the the no, right, basically means that it's just not that, right, that it's just not that credit. So then, for example, that could be organized in its own way, right? So hopefully that, that's making sense to you guys. It does get a little bit advanced, but, um, you know, we have my recommendation is to run the system out the gate, right, with every lead coming into the system. And then once you start finding the patterns of, okay, these are the best leads, then you design it based on that. But if you did just want to look at it on paper, credit 670 or greater, income is 70K or greater, and they want to move ASAP or one to three months, now you know, you're actually going to get these leads. You're going to sign them to yourself. You're going to set up the notification. You'd say like qualified lead. And then you would, you know, basically kind of automate the actual process of filtering that stuff out. And then, like I said, if you, uh, you know, if you actually like put enough spend into this, I mean, you're not, you're going to get a lot of people that don't line up with this. So you won't have to deal with a lot. The key here is just figuring out what you want as your filters. And I mean, I could do it unlimited ways, right? Um, Cause it's all, it's all math. It's all logic and it can all be planned out. But I would say this is probably the best or one of the best ways to stack it if it's a buyer. Um, and then, like I said, you could do a stack if they put an address. Um, here's the other one I did before. Um, so you just kind of, I just lined it all up right here. So this one's more simple. Their income is this, right? Same thing. And then their credit score, right? And then we just did a uh, just batched filter at the top end, right? So I have all this stuff if you guys want it. Um, and I'll get into that here. Um, but basically, that's how you set up the ad. That's the exact ad we use. Um, and this is the entire process here that we have. So um, they, you, you know, you'll get booked appointments. Trust me, if you put spend, you follow exactly what I said, and you have the same setup, you'll definitely get booked appointments. So that's pretty much it. We do have the automated SMS and email. So let's see if that went out to me. I don't know if it's all hooked up here. Yeah, Quinn just booked an appointment. Um, so this is, uh, I think this doesn't run multiple times here, but, um, I'm already in the system. Okay. And you could see 90 K income qualified leads pipeline. So that was a previous demo, but you could basically, like I said, you could set this up where you have a qualified lead here and they go into their own bucket. Okay. You just need to figure it out once you know what you want or your client wants. I mean, it's pretty easy to, to design it. Right. Um, so that's it for today's video. I hope it found you well. My last little call to action is if it brought you, you know, um, value, then uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be creating a lot more content, a lot more. I was doing one video a week and there should be more than that coming out. And I'm not going to say a specific number. That way it's just, you know, I don't want to set any, cast any spells on myself, but, um, yeah, there'll be more than one video a week now. And if you want to partner with me, this is what you get, at least as of right now. So all that that snapshot I showed you, I have a traditional one, I have a purchase one, a refi one. I actually, I built all these as well. So they're not bought from other people that I am reselling. I, I, that's why I'm only giving this to partners. I, I did a video where people could buy it. I got a lot of email reservations and I was like I just don't want to be selling it to people I'm not like working with and at least aware of who they are so this is the offer I have right now I think it's going to morph and evolve but yeah you can get all the snapshots I have here we can do one 90 minute session uh, with me via zoom and if you're familiar with high level then you know what all this is if you're not basically I built all of these systems and the system I'm showing you is on high level. Um, and so this is what I've used for the past two years to run my business and, and, you know, make sure my clients get awesome results. So I actually believe in it. Um, and there's basically three plans. There's a $97 a month plan, 
where you can create one of these little accounts basically. And then there's a 297 plan, which if you have an agency and you have clients, this is what you're going to most likely sign up with um, because this is only like one business basically. So if you're like an agent or an investor and you're just running ads and, and marketing for yourself, this is pretty much all you need. Uh, but if you have clients like me, I probably have 15 or more sub accounts. So I get unlimited with, with this plan basically. And then um, lastly, there's SaaS mode, which basically allows you to have all these features, but you can rebuild clients with their uh, Twilio account and all that stuff. Um, and there's just some other key kind of unlocked features. But um, the 90 minute sessions only for people that are at least on this plan or this plan. Um, and it's only, I'm only going to do it with my first like 20 partners. Um, because I mean, when, when there's 50 people, I, I don't know if I can do 50, um, you know, 50 of those per, per month here. So, um, plus it's a live thing, right? So as people, you know, we start getting connected and you resonate with the work I'm doing, I mean, stuff's going to morph, right? But this is what it is right now. So uh, you can also hit me up on Facebook and I'll respond via messenger. I had uh, two people that partnered up with me and, um, you know, I'm going back and forth on messages and kind of, you know, giving giving them some feedback about their offer and all that stuff. So any new updates as well to existing snapshots, um, like if I update these, you guys get, you know, I'll, I'll, you'll be the first ones I send those to or the only ones I send those to. Um, and then I've got a ton of SOPs for like installing the snapshots, for installing the ad campaigns. I have a ton of ad templates. I have SOPs for getting, you know, uh, clients onboarded when it comes to setting up their high level, setting up their ad accounts, transferring their business manager assets, um, how to conduct the call, right? How to close the call, um, you know, all, all this stuff I have. And then these are kind of the ideas I have. So like how to actually go out and get clients, how to nail your offer, how to reclaim, uh, retain clients for years, which I've literally done. Um, and uh, I think I've probably only had... I mean, I've had hundreds of customers with like digital products and stuff, but I mean, client clients, I mean, we may maybe have 80 or 100 over the years between video and, and this stuff. So we've been able to do really well with, uh, you know, pretty small kind of uh, client market. It's not like I've got hundreds and hundreds of clients and, you know, I've, like I said, I've been able to retain clients and relationships for years. I, I don't know if there's one person that I've worked with you know intimately that I don't know or you know like I don't know what, what's going on with them or I haven't talked to them in a bit so these are uh, ideas video ideas but the intent here is like I'm just going to be giving away all this stuff on YouTube and I just believe that people that want to start their own agency or or you know you're an agent right that wants to actually uh, recruit. I have a recruiting snapshot as well that I've built. So I just believe the market's changing and people are going to want to partner with people that know how to do this stuff. And, you know, all I'm asking or your only thing you have to do is sign up for a software that you would be using, right? I'm not charging anything separate. So if you're interested, um, I don't know, DM me on IG or something like that or Facebook. And um, yeah, I'm sure you'll figure out how to find me or comment whatever's easiest for you um i like to jump on zooms with all all the people and you'll find i'm very i'm exactly how i am here so i'm not going to push you to sign up for a high level it's like but if you do have a business or you're starting a business um and it's in real estate i mean i can add a lot of value and uh i would assume that so that's it hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like, comment if you're interested in this stuff or uh, the cheat sheet. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Peace.